Hello and good morning. Good morning and welcome to your ET Wealth Decoding. And I am Kaveri Bharat, and soon I'll be joined with one more very special community member. Here we are decoding a very special. Ah, please acknowledge as you join, please. And I will follow up and any comments, put it in the chat, and I will get back to it later. But today, the reason I'm doing the decoding is because of a program we've launched called the Young Adults Money Wise Program. And the ET Wealth yesterday's has an article called Money Mistakes That Your College Goers Can Make. And this is something that is very essential for all of us as parents and for young children to know. Hi, Shweta. Thank you for acknowledging that you're here. All right. So this article talks about how children, when they first leave home and as young adults, they go into the world, they go to college and suddenly they have this money to spend. What are the mistakes they make, the common mistakes? Expe excessive spending on wants with no savings, using a credit card instead of a debit card or uh, some other kind of um, wallet which has a spending limit. Taking a huge loan on education, which they may or may not lead to a lucrative job. No budgeting and the lure of quick money with things like cryptocurrency and NFTs. I'm going to see if I can find us a pair from Pune, who is also part of our young adults team. To join. Once I don't see her here as yet, Mukta, if you're here, please acknowledge and there she is. I can see Mukta. I'm going to in, invite her. Please, can you see Mukta if you can join? Would you request to be part of this? Mukta, I would like you to... Yeah, hi Mukta. There will be a button that says request to join. Please click on that. I want you to come in and expand on what you have to think. On this. There seems to be some problem. Mukta, can you see the request to join? While we wait for her to... There, she seems to be coming. I think you need to switch the camera around. It's a... Turn it to your far front facing camera. There you are. Hi, Mukta. How are you this morning? I'm great. How I are can't you? Believe. Ah, yeah. You're better now. Yes. Lovely. Right. So we were just talking about this ET Wealth article, Money Mistakes That College Goers Can Make, about excessive spending yeah. on wants, on yeah. using credit cards, no budgeting. So as a mother and as a parent, what's your experience? And I'd love to hear from you what you think about the mistakes that young college goers are making with their money. So thank you so much Kaveri first for inviting me and uh, actually I'm really glad to be a part of the young, um, young uh, people's team that we've created on Women on Wealth. And um, we're happy to so, have Of course, you know, I read this article just yesterday and I had my own thoughts about it. Uh, first of all, money mistakes that the college goers can make. I think we're already assuming that they are going to make the mistakes, which already I think it's, you know, a bias towards these young adults, which I think this generation, I mean, my kids are much younger or uh, they are yet to reach college. But uh, what I see with the millennials and, you know, the, the younger people, they are much wiser with their money decisions. Um, they do have access and exposure to more things. And uh, having said that, they're still, um, you know, they're not conservative about their spendings and things like that, but they are definitely wiser than I know that I was when I was in college, right? Um, so, um, yeah, so to begin with that, that those were my thoughts on the article after I read it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Sheetal says we must talk about money so we don't suffer in silence. I agree. The money conversations have to happen at home, I think, when they are younger. It doesn't come in overnight. So when they go to college, yeah. you have to start right from there when they are little children. 
talking about money, about currency, where does it come from, where do the parents have it to spend from. So they must be aware of how the work ties with money, with earning, with growth. Good morning, Srikala. Yeah. Thanks for saying that you're here. Yeah, absolutely. Openness and talking about it is the way we have to see it. Yeah. Uh, but also, Kaveri, um, I feel that you know, we need to put ourselves in their shoes um, and understand where they are coming from because yeah. um, it's like, you know, for example, um, this, there's a latest fad about the shoes, I mean, Snickers or, uh, you know, these Air Jordans and I heard this whole buzz going around it. I um, I'm sure a lot of the parents who are in the college category or this 15, 16 year olds would relate to me. Um, I know that in the big metros and, you know, it, it's just a thing. And these are expensive shoes, right? Um, and all the children want it, but without you understanding that. When you say expensive, Mukta, what are you talking about? About how much? You know, I... Uh, they're like 10,000 plus, 15, 20, and it can go upwards um, for a pair wow. of shoes. And, um, but I think, you know, some kids have been wise about it and created a business around it also. So that's why I'm saying that it's not always a bad thing, but they need to understand how they can, you know, use it and what is uh, their need for it whether they want it because, you know, just my friend has it, so I want it. Or, you know, is it bringing me some more value than just that? Um, also, I think the discussion right. around what is enough for me is important. Like you said, you know, we need to discuss um, at home from a younger age. And uh, what we are going to, you know, um, do the kids are going to kind of follow suit, I feel. Uh, so yeah. it is it is important for that conversation to happen for them to understand you know what are the more important things and not um and not necessary that money is bad or money is you know is evil because it's not and we all need the money but uh, how what is what is that enough for you what is you know where you are actually getting that satisfaction from but we have to kind of show it for them to kind of understand it um absolutely and not i think like, i agree with you yeah it's just the the responsibility doesn't suddenly come overnight if you suddenly when yeah. they go off to college the first time they have money in their hands it's bound to be a problem it has to be something that's built from very early on yes can you hear me um kaveri i think you're breaking up um I can hear you. Is there a problem with my connection? A mm, little bit, but um, yeah, so just going back yeah, to the I article, you know, I feel that we, the freedom needs to be given to the children. We can't control it and they will have to make their own mistakes. But the, the conversation needs to be that, you know, study, research it and then go ahead with whatever your money decisions are going to be, whether it is, you know, getting a credit card. Or because we can't stop them, you know, once it's 18, the whole thing is open to them. So how does that, you know, even when you go to college and you do want to take a loan for your education or you want to, um, you know, get a credit card and who's stopping you there? Nobody's stopping you. But if I know that, okay, this this is the knowledge I have about money. This is the education that I've got around money. Um then I'm just going to be, I don't you want to use the word careful, but uh, take the right decisions that are apt for me at that time. Right, right. Okay. So the education I get what you're saying. More... Yeah. And I also think that as long as they know that credit cards are a loan, that it's, it's a credit, a debit card is money that you already have, these are the things. This is exactly what Sheetal has said. It has to be a conversation. It doesn't happen. Yarn doesn't drop down from the heavens. It will have to happen with conversations. I get it, Priyanka. Yeah, my connection is weak, you're saying. I'm trying to move it a little bit to get better connection. And uh, hi. Um, okay, what else do our community members have to say about this? Do you all have anything to say about 
young people and their spending. Thank you, Sheetal. She says, so great to see our community leaders showing up and standing up and participating in the change they want to see in the world. Absolutely. Mukta, me, Lara, uh, Priyanka, uh, and uh, we're all standing here for our community and leading the Young Adults program. And anybody who has, has young adults and wants to sign them up for our little course, please do get in touch with Women on Wealth. It's such an essential discussion to have. And this is financial knowledge that will stand them in good stead for the rest of their lives. Because I think more than the investing in things, learning how to spend, learning how to track your money, it's something that unless you have a conversation and unless it's taught, it's not something that comes naturally. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's more of a life skill, right? I mean, it's not, it's really not taught to any one of us, but it is a life skill. Like I think cooking, uh, you know, uh, and knowing about this finance bit and things like that, these are life skills or even growing your own food, really. I mean, you know, things like that, they are important. They give you more satisfaction. Uh, they stay with you for a longer time. And uh, I think we just need to teach this to our next you know, children and uh, generations to come. I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you because like you said, these are essential life skills. It has nothing to do with gender, whether it's being able to feed yourself or look after yourself or manage your finances. These are things that all young people of all genders must learn. You have to be independent. What is the point of education if you're still dependent on everyone else? If you need a cook to cook for you and someone else to manage your money and someone else to, you know, like pull your chair out for you, what next? You're making yourself more helpless. Education must help you stand on your own feet and be independent. So then you can enjoy your life without, you know, you can then take people you want in your life instead of people you need. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. So nice talking to you, Mukta. I'm so yeah, glad we so had this much. conversation. Um, yeah. and I hope and you know thank you more point. Um, yeah I can't really. uh, no I said thank you to everyone who joined and I think my connection is the problem I will have to sort this out I am not in my own house now so it's yeah it's a problem thank you so much I think okay. my friends have joined in and uh, hello to all of you and thank you for joining and supporting this conversation Thank you to every one of you with our community, without our community. Please do get in touch, follow us more regularly. And we look forward to hearing from you all as well. Please do write in to us. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, thank you and see you. We are ending this live now. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.